My journey to becoming a teacher wasn't quite normal. Um, I was in a lot of trouble in high school. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with my life. I also entered a, a, a huge depression where I leaned on um, alcohol and drugs. I remember vividly being 22 years old and in a state of depression and one night I remembered a conversation that my ninth grade drama teacher had with myself. My attitude towards school was, ch was changing. My attitude towards people was changing. And he took me aside and he simply asked me what was wrong. And for whatever reason, I remembered that conversation at 22. And I decided that I wanted to be that person for someone else. A teacher to me is someone who imparts content and then allows the student to form their own opinions about the content as they see fit. My teaching philosophy is centered on a social justice-based education. We have a very diverse student population in Clark County, so therefore I feel it is my job to make sure that they see themselves in my lessons. What I enjoy most about teaching are the aha moments. When students struggle with believing in themselves, when they, sh when they struggle in believing in their ability, and the light comes on and they finally get it, and you see the strength surge within them. Mr. Simpson is the best teacher on the seventh grade hallway. It's my OG. My favorite part about Mr. Simpson's class is he just like helps cheer people up. He like asks us we're all he takes us in the hallway, talk for us a little bit, and then he makes learning fun. He makes learning, like, learn about history in, like, the 19s fun. I'm a huge George Bulldog fan. He's a huge George Bulldog fan. I like wrestling. He likes wrestling. <laughs> Feels cool. I get to connect with my teacher more. Not a lot of students can do that. I fight for my students every day, uh, whether it's through school policy or district policy, whether it's through personal battles every day. If it's not my recovery that I'm fighting for, it's my emotional well-being, but I have a, a powerful voice as a white male in America. I feel it as if it's my mission to amplify voices. I'm enthusiastic, dedicated, but I'm also an incredibly passionate educator. I fight every day for my students and for them to be heard and to be seen. And I'm gonna to continue to do so until my days teaching are done.